Hello everybody, my name is Robby van der Weert and I'm an application engineer at Malexis. In this video I will explain how the field of view for far infrared sensors is determined. The field of view of a sensor is determined by the angle in which the sensor is sensitive to thermal radiation. This means that the sensor will detect all objects in the field of view. The sensor returns the average of all objects in the field of view. It's important that the measured object completely fills the field of view. If this is not the case, the sensor can detect objects that are not supposed to be measured resulting in an incorrect measurement. In this way, good understanding of the field of view is advised when designing an application with far infrared sensors. So, to measure a certain object, the user needs to take the field of view into account to determine the distance between sensor and object. Because the field of view and object dimensions are known, you can derive the distance between sensor and object with simple geometry. The principle of measuring the field of view is based on one object that is fixed and the sensor panning from left to right, or from minus 90 to plus 90 degrees. It's advised to keep the temperature difference between the fixed point and the background to be as big as possible. In this way, the hotspot will have maximum effect when it enters the field of view. Panning the sensor from minus 90 to plus 90 degrees, the sensor will show a peak value at zero degrees. At this point, the sensor is straight across the hotspot. If we show the normalized graph of this dataset, we can see a maximum response at zero degrees. A normalized graph shows the intensity from zero to 100% versus the angle that is measured from minus 90 to 90 degrees. The field of view is now defined at 50% in the curve. In our example, 35 degrees as shown in the graph. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.